ISIS AIDS crisis, how the terrorist organization manages infected slaves. The Islamic State, or ISIS, as it's better known, is grappling with an HIV AIDS crisis among its enslaved women and fighters, according to an internal document of the terrorist organization exposed by an anti-ISIS channel. <laughs> the funny thing is, the background on the anti-ISIS channel that exposed this is that they're actually pro-Al-Qaeda. <laughs> okay, continuing. The document from the Islamic State Al Qarar office contained <laughs> Armin's face. <laughs> Wait, pause. I need to get your reaction. Wait, you're telling me Al Qaeda hacked ISIS and leaked information that showed ISIS slaves are infected, and ISIS has memo internal documentation trying to address sexually transmitted diseases within their slaves and al-qaeda is the one who hacked them and figured this out right yeah pro al-qaeda anti-isis channel okay okay i guess that's a and this is not an onion article or anything. no no this no is yeah. actual yeah. news it, it, it's it's absurd it, yeah not what i was expecting to hear but this yeah. is what happened okay okay carry on yep Wow. So now that we all just took a moment to take that in, let's continue. The document from the Islamic State's al qarar office contained religious questions from the governor of the ISIS-controlled Mozambique province and responses from the ISIS leadership, which included guidelines on handling wives and slaves infected with HIV-AIDS. The document revealed that ISIS enslaved women, uh, enslaved women and distributed them as rewards to fighters, some of whom contracted HIV-AIDS. It also detailed measures taken by the ISIS-controlled Mozambique province to address rising HIV and AIDS, such as conducting medical tests and separating infected spouses. The, H the ISIS leadership provided directives on handling enslaved women with HIV and AIDS based on their conversion to Islam and a payment of ransom. Those who converted to Islam were f and, and were free of the disease could be given to ISIS members, while those who contracted HIV and AIDS but converted to Islam could be freed only if ransom was paid. However, enslaved women with HIV and AIDS who can, refused to convert to Islam and for whom no ransom was paid should be killed, according to their directive. The uh, yeah, not according not according to us, YouTube, according to their directive. Yeah. Wait, we who should be killed? On. The enslaved who women killed? who refused to convert. Okay. Wow. Okay. Continue. The Barca News Agency, a pro-ISIS telegram channel, confirmed the authenticity of this document, which dates back to January 9th of 2022 and was obtained during a raid leading to the death of the fourth ISIS caliph, Abu al-Hussein al-Husseini al-Qurishi. The document indicates that the crisis is exacerbating the challenges faced by the terrorist organization and reveals its deeply inhumane treatment of enslaved women. Quote, it seems, and Allah knows best, that this disease has come to you through the women you enslave, the ISIS leadership noted in the document, underlined the need for testing and cautious handling of enslaved women amid the crisis. There is a lot to unpack here. They're talking as if they're talking about that fruit that has gone bad, you know? Like, they're like, oh, we're handling of these items that we're selling and trade. Like, some of these products have gone bad. That's, that, that's how they're talking. I can't believe they actually have guidelines on how to treat, how to manage, you know, uh, slaves with, with, with HIV. Like, oh, this, is the, this, is the, this comes from the top guys. This is, this is our government guidelines you know our, our corporate guidelines on how to treat you know our slaves that are wow um okay yeah i am i am lost for words i don't know what to say i thought i've seen everything i've been doing this for 15 years and i thought i've seen everything and this is completely the i have i i am i am without words do you have anything to say i don't have anything to say I mean, I think what's important to think about when highlighting this news is that a lot of people think that like ISIS is over and like a bygone conclusion. Oh no. 
Oh, no. No, they're not. And actually, people are not aware that they are Make, very yeah. active in Africa. So this is happening no, in yeah, Africa. But people, yeah, people don't give a crap about Africa. That's the whole, that's the reason why people think ISIS is gone. ISIS is all over Africa. Well, uh, no, mostly northern part of Africa, mostly. And, 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 and they are... They, yeah, and they just made that whole. They, they just made half of that canton into just like their backyard and just like taking over. That's the thing. Um, and yeah, so yeah, but I, it's Africa who 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 gives a crap. It, it's almost as if ISIS doesn't exist to to most of the planet. But yeah, go on. Yeah, well, no, that's what's really important to keep in mind is that this is an active problem that is still happening. It's just not in our awareness because. Like Armin said, people have this really dismissive attitude towards the issues that face that continent in general, let alone insurgencies, mm -hmm. right? People don't even like think about it. People just think that it's normal when it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be normal at all. Um, yeah. And um, so one, I want people to be aware that this is still a thing that exists and it's still a very prominent issue. And two, I want people to be aware that it's one of the biggest issues in Africa. <laughs> like, or yeah. it the the problem of isis is most directly affecting the lives of people in africa right now and this includes behavior that is as abhorrent as sex slavery but this isn't making it on the news anymore right like when it was the yazidi women you know there was a lot of prominence given to that story rightfully so but mm. this kind of behavior is still continuing but we just don't hear about it it's not getting the coverage um, and so basically I was reading, um, a translation of this document and yeah, it's just a very like matter of fact document about the processes that they should take to try to isolate people that are infected within their organization. And it's just so, yeah, bizarre to like, l let me read a passage of a translation, right? Um, so the response further explains that the enslaved women should be asked to convert to Islam, and if they refuse, they should be killed. Again, YouTube, I am reporting on the statements of others. Those who convert to, quote, those who convert to Islam and are confirmed free of the disease can be given to ISIS members. It also said that female slaves who contracted AIDS and agreed to convert to Islam can be freed in return for a ransom. As for female slaves who have the disease, who refuse to convert to Islam, and no ransom is paid for them, the directive from the ISIS leadership said that, quote, they should be killed. It noted non-virgin women should all take tests before they are given away as slaves to ISIS members. Quote, as for virgins, their matter is different, and there is nothing wrong with marrying and owning them, it said. Yeah, of course, of course, this is Islam. Yeah. So I mean to be to be fair, this is complete is this the is this the corporate memo thing guideline on what to do about all this mess? Yeah, those are some screenshots of mm -hmm. it, yeah. Amazing, unbelievable. Well, should we um should we thank Al Qaeda for leaking this information or no? Um no. Armin, uh, I would not no? put it like that. Okay, okay, I wouldn't okay. okay so. I would. <laughs> all right be a little bit more it? choosy with my language <laughs> <laughs> um we I, can't thank what, what's wrong with you <laughs> okay well okay we can't thank al-qaeda but we can uh, thank john mathers who got 20 memberships did you see that we just got while you were speaking susanna you did not notice but John got 20 Atheist Republic memberships. Every, every, like, look at the chat. Like, everybody's a member now. <laughs> so. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. John, thank you so much. What a gift to our community. Oh, yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. That's amazing. All right. Um... Okay, Abhijan was saying, how am I not a member? I come here every Sunday. Apparently, to be gifted a membership by someone else, you have to turn on some sort of setting on your own personal back. Yes. Account. I don't know how to do it, but you have to you have to change your own settings before someone can give you a membership. You have to go to your YouTube profile setting, channel setting, and say, allow accepting gifts. 
for you to be able to get that gift. But yeah, so that's how it works. Yeah. Um, oh, we got a super chat from Newman saying, "Ew, this is so disgusting. It is disgusting." Okay, <laughs> guys, as, as, it still exists and continues to this day, and people yes pay attention to it, and they want to deny that this is even a behavior that's learned from this ideology, if you can believe that or not. Yes, 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 yes. and this is uh, as much as I want to blame ISIS and Islam and all of that. We also can blame uh, Russia for all of, some of this nonsense as well. Do you know that? Yeah, because of the um the instability and their that they're causing it oh by the way i want to formally thank uh, putin for saving maybe potentially saving africa by taking out the wagner leader so thank you so much to daddy putin for you know potentially saving africa from wagner um yeah thank you daddy putin for taking out the wagner <laughs> group saving africa <laughs> and uniting nato <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. NATO's biggest supporter, <laughs> known as yeah. Mr. Putin. Yeah. Oh, we got. Uh, do you highlighted uh, uh, one of the chats. Do you want to read that? This is I just a very nice there. comment. Christina said, yeah. "Susanna is amazing. I watch Atheist Republic practically every day." Well, thank you, Christina. No. That's really nice. That made me smile. So I wanted Guys. to do that. May, yeah, please keep these compliments going because we have no other way uh, other than your compliments to show Susanna that her work here is valuable because we don't we can't afford paying her because we don't have money. So we are literally need you guys to tell her how much like, that's the only way we can pay her with your compliments because she puts a lot of time and you have no idea before the show to get this news ready for you, her and D. Like, thank the, thank Susie, and thank the rest of the team uh, for doing all of this uh, until we could figure out a way for us to thank them with actual money because that's that there's a lot of work that goes into this. And she's doing it for you because she cares about you without getting paid. So please let her know that you are grateful for what she's doing, right? Also, you could actually donate more so that we could eventually pay her for all the time that she's putting in. That would be nice. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know who makes the most amazing, gorgeous, and other adjectives that I can't use here on YouTube blasphemous art ever? We do. And for some reason, we are giving it away for free. Download them now using the link in the description before we change our mind.